find the domain and range. Four. Do you know how to draw? How do you know how to draw this graph? Is it difficult? It's not that difficult, right? Uh, let's try them. Okay, basically this is the question. Do you know how to draw this? Yes, uh, that's right. What about if I just said 2, no x? It's a straight line. It's a straight line. Okay. Let's, let's try them one by one. Okay, this one here, it means... Negative 2, and then, you guys okay? What about here? When x is 0, negative 2. What about this one here? Yes, sir. Horizontal. Two. Are you happy? Now what about if I give you this? 2x plus 2. What does the plus 2, this plus 2 means? Intercept 2. So the graph is going to be? Here. If x is 0, sorry, if y is 0. Is it 1? Negative 1. Oh my dear, I get this one wrong? I got this one wrong. It's negative 1. y is 0, my bad. Negative 1. Are you okay with this? Do you know how to get all these three graphs? No problem, right? Guys, class, are you okay? Yes. You're not dead? No. This is easy? Yes. Really? Are you okay? No. Are you okay or not? No. Okay? No. Which, one, which one you know? Anybody here die? Do, do you want me to explain again? Please raise your hand. Oh, my. Which one? Which one? This one okay? If you are not okay, please raise your hand. Oh, my. That's quite a number of them. Just basically... Uh, well, X graph, how does it look like? This way, right? What about if I do 2x? Still going to be the same, just steeper. Okay, just the gradient. The graph is going to be the same. If I put right now negative 2x, you okay? Now, if there's a minus 2, okay? After this, the same. I'm a bit fast on this one here because we have learned most of the graph on the last class. Okay? If you still have problem with that, I, I'm sorry I cannot help you. Please review the last video again. This one, are you okay? This one follows the same principle. 2x. I cannot go too slow. This is x. This is 2x. This is 2x plus 2. Okay? 
This is still easy. Now here comes the kicker. <laughs> the question is not yet complete. It has a condition. Basically speaking, we need to draw all those three graphs together. This thing on the right side is his domain. So now let's examine them one by one. Okay, negative 2x minus 2, the graph. The graph of this one is, we have drawn them just now. Oopsie, negative 2, negative 1. And what does this mean? What does this mean? X less than negative 2, I less than equal, sorry about that. Where is uh, less than equal to negative 2? Ne this is domain, right? Domain is which X or Y? X. So negative 2 is over here. Do you agree? When x is negative 2, so negative 2 x minus 2, when x is negative 2, what do I get? Four, 2. Are you okay? Are you still alive? So here, it goes up. And here is 2. Where's my domain? Where's my domain? Left or right? Less than negative 2, left or right? Less. So I only want this graph. What about the right side, sir? I don't want. Okay, I just want the domain. So right now, my graph is going to look something like this. Negative 2. Just like that. And here is... Are you okay? I just want that. I don't want it. Why do I why I don't want this one? It's not the domain. Okay? It's not the domain. Now let's move on. Okay, this two, how does it look like on graph? Just two. What's the domain? Negative 2 until 0. Where is it? Negative 2 until 0. This part. What happened to the rest? What happened to the right side and the left side? I don't want them. Okay, so now we take this part. We put it here. Okay, negative 2, 0, negative 2 until 0. I draw them. Can you see? Okay. Let's go a bit up. And the final one, 2x plus 2. Let's look at the graph. 2x plus 2, just now we draw. If 2x just like this, 2x plus 2, that be something like this, 2. It starts from... Okay, sorry, there's a correction in my paper. It's not 6, it's 0 here. 
looks so weird just now. Sorry about that. That's a correction. What's the domain? More than zero, where is it? Zero is here, so the right side. I want the graph only at here, the positive side, the right side. What about the left side? I don't want them. So now we take this, we glue it over here. And that's how we got the graph. Is it difficult to draw? Uh, if we break it down bits by bits, is it difficult? Not so much. Unless if your basic graph is bad, that's I can't do anything. You just not to, you just must not be panic. Relax yourself. Draw, break them bits by bits. You can draw them. It's not that difficult. Okay, so the domain, find the domain and range. Okay, that's a bit, that's the main question. How do I know the domain? This one here it goes until how much? Until negative infinity. This one more than zero it goes until how much? Till positive infinity. So what's the domain? We have discussed right the last time. You can write down negative infinity until infinity, but I prefer more. All real numbers. Looks more smart. And R symbolize. Yeah, some of you has laughed. <laughs> Rodi Rajak. <laughs> what about the range? What about the range? Range is on what, what axis? X or Y? Well, here's two until do we got two I mean should it be close bracket or open bracket close because we touch two All right so that will be the final answers it's not entirely difficult if your basic graph is good so that's why last time we spent quite a lot on basic graph. Okay, thank you.